It's been a while since we've given an update on to what's going on with the boat. So I wanted to show you guys what's going on. We've been working like a half an hour here, after work, half an hour there for like the past month, just doing little odds and ends that needed to be fixed before we could take the boat out. VHF radio, I needed to get that wired up. Um, you know, we've got some lights put in now. Uh, the wiring was done in the last video. So uh, now we got uh, some more lighting put up and it looks really good. And I'm gonna show you guys that in just a little bit. And also, before we go and try to take her sailing the first time, I wanted just to make sure we wouldn't have any problems stepping the mast. So today, we're gonna get the mast stepped. So, um, here we go. All right, so I have the uh, mast all strapped down. Um, so I need to get that unhooked get all the bungee cords undone and uh, I'll get the mast ready to go and I'll show you how we're gonna step this thing. So I got the mast pulled off the bow pulpit and just laying down on the top deck. Now the next thing I do is raise the mast crutch so we can get plenty of leverage to pull it right up. I'm going to do that now. Just pull the pin. All right, so now we have the mast in the air. Now we're going to walk the foot of the mast over to the mast step and bolt it in. Are you f***ing kidding me? What happened? The whole turnbuckle is completely bent. Why? It got bent somehow. I have no idea how. All right, we have a problem. One of the upper shrouds, the turnbuckle piece that goes in there is completely bent. So we're gonna have to replace that. These are threaded in reverse, so it's lefty, loosey, righty. Sorry, righty, loosey, lefty, tidy. Just the opposite good thing to happen now and not at the ramp so we don't have to turn around and go all the way back to the house. Doesn't fit? No, it's a totally different thread. Trying to definitely not do it there. This one's slightly bent so this could probably work. Can we like hammer it in? Like hammer it straight? Well, I just barely bent this, but the thing is, you really don't want to be bending this stuff because it weakens the metal. I should do it. Threads all the way down, once again, for the most part. So, I put a new piece on the turnbuckle, so we should be good to go. So, let me show you how we're going to step the mast. We have just a cheap little C Choice winch mounted on the frame of the trailer. So what we're going to do, we're going to run this hook up. And we're going to hook this to the forestay and I'm just going to balance the mast, make sure it goes up straight while Apple runs the winch up very slowly. You ready? Ready. All right. All right. main things we need to do here is make sure all the shrouds are loose and in order so they're not tangled going up. All right, I got the four stay ready to hook on to the winch. So you want to hand me the winch cable? All right, so that's 
that's locked in. Now I want to make sure the forward shrouds are free and that the upper shrouds and aft shrouds are lined up, ready to go. There's our forward shrouds and you want to make sure they're free. So there's the starboard and port. very important to make sure all the shrouds are in order before going for your lift. How's this side look? Are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead and crank her up very slowly. Now what we would have done, if we were actually at the water now, I would have put the PVC pipe just like we have for our upper shrouds and aft shrouds on our forward shrouds, which we have in the truck. All right, so the next thing would be to tighten these, and we have a loose gauge, which we're not gonna do right now because we're not going to the water, but uh, we will this weekend. And here's our VHF radio. So that's easy, that just plugs in, screws down. And then this is for our mast light. That'll just go in this deck connection right here we just soldered in. It's a key, so it only goes one way. So you won't mix it up. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Woo! All right. It worked. Lights are on. We'll show you what we've done. First off, we have cabin lights. So we got, we could turn these on and off individually, run one light, no lights, or both, and that works either way. Then back in the V-berth, this light will either go red, so you don't lose your night eyes, which is nice, off, or just a solid white light. We installed a tiller tamer on the rudder, so when we're just hanging out, you know, we don't want to uh, have to have our hands on the rudder temporarily we can just lock that I think we're pretty much uh, ready to go we got our boom sitting behind you there our main sail our boom let's go ahead and get her closed up and I'll see you this weekend and if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up because it really helps our channel we'll see you on our next adventure <laughs>